Today is Sunday, August 30th, and the project I'm gonna to tackle today is gonna to be dethatching and overseeding. And we just got through some really hot weather in Chicago. It's been 90 plus degrees with high humidity for the last month or so. It's been really hot. Honestly, it's been terrible growing conditions for cool season grass. So we're just kind of getting to that point right now where things are starting to cool down. The humidity is coming down a little bit. So that's why I'm starting my project today. And I want to give my new grass that I'm going to be planting some, some time to germinate and become strong before we get the first frost. So that probably isn't going to happen for another six or seven weeks. So that should be plenty of time for that new grass to take hold. Step one in this project is going to be using my electric dethatcher and that has little metal tines that go through and they basically rake up the whole yard and they take any of that old dying, those grass blades that maybe died off or anything that's along the soil level near the crown of the plant, it's going to lift those things up and it's going to pull it right up to the top. And when you look at your grass, you might not think you have much of it, but if you run the dethatcher over it, it's amazing how much you can pull up. So I'm going to get started with that. I'm going to run it over the lawn. Once I'm done, I'm going to use the rotary mower to clean all that stuff up. And a little tip, if you're going to do this at your house, one thing I would recommend would be to let the grass dry out a little bit. Like you wouldn't want to run your sprinkler system in the morning time and then dethatch just after that. So I've held off on watering for a couple days now. The ground's a little bit hard and the thatch is probably pretty dry and it's going to make it easier for the dethatcher to pull that up and especially when i go to clean all that stuff up it's going to be a lot easier what i'm using today to dethatch is this it's the greenworks electric dethatcher i've had this thing for about a year now i've used it a few times it works really well this is what the bottom side of the dethatcher looks like it has these little tines right here that when this spins those things cut right through the grass and it pulls up that thatch layer and it clears out everything that's sitting on top of the dirt except for the good grass. Taking a closer look at the grass, from up here everything looks nice and green, but if you get down near the dirt, you pull the grass blades away a little bit, you see this stuff, this is what thatch is right here. This stuff that's those brown grass blades and basically anything that's sitting up on top of the dirt that is an actual grass. So we're gonna lift and pull that stuff out of there with the dethatcher. It's gonna loosen up the soil a little bit and it's gonna give it a good opportunity for that seed that I put down when I overseed to make contact with the soil, which is needed for it to start growing. All done in this area over here. Every time I do this, it's amazing how much stuff gets pulled up. I raked everything into three piles. There's a little bit of green grass in here. You're gonna pull up a little bit of decent grass sometimes, but for the most part, it's all that brown, nasty, dead grass. So there's one, two, three big piles of it. I just finished up over here. I like to kind of rake everything up into piles before I go through and use the rotary mower to suck it all up like a vacuum. Thank you. 
All right, I'm all done with the dethatching in the front yard now. So what I did is I raked everything up into kind of big piles and then scoop all that stuff up. I'm gonna mow it right now with a rotary mower, which is gonna suck up all the extra grass blades that are still left there. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna overseed with perennial ryegrass and I'm gonna put down some natural fertilizer to kickstart everything and get it going again. So now I've mowed everything up. I put some stripes down with the DIY lawn striper. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. But everything's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna overseed this and I'm gonna use Pennington perennial ryegrass. And after I do that, I'm gonna throw down some Melorganite knockoff, the Menards brand natural fertilizer. So here we go. I'm gonna load up the uh, spreader with some grass seed and I'm gonna do a little overseeding. That way any of those bare or thin spots this is the prime time for grass to grow for cool season grass in the next month and a half or two months. So now's the time that I want to do that overseeding and fall is honestly the best time to do any kind of overseeding or any kind of lawn renovation if you have cool season grass. The last step of this renovation is going to be to fertilize and today I'm putting down this it's Menards premium natural slow release fertilizer and this is a let's see 430 so this is a natural fertilizer so I like to alternate between my synthetic fertilizers and my naturals so I'm gonna put this down water it in it kind of stinks but after a day or two it's not gonna to be too bad All right, so the front yard is done. Today we went through and de-thatched, raked everything up, mowed it with the rotary mower, put down some new grass seed, overseeded it with perennial ryegrass, put down the organic fertilizer, and now I'm watering everything in. So these are the steps I take to overseed in the fall. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.